Relax. Troy sent me. Troy? Oh, thank God. I've been a nervous wreck since I found this kid. He's got nobody to look out for him. But I'm not so good with kids, you know. That's not why I'm here. But Troy promised she'd send someone. I need to get into the museum. The museum? But Troy told me someone would come to help. She promised. Okay, Tariq. You, you tell me how to get into the museum, and maybe I can sort out your problem here, okay? Rise controls the museum. He would kill you on sight. Well, then I can't have him see me. Now, Troy said you used to be the curator, and that if anybody would know a way in, it'd be you. So, how do I do it? <laughs> do you have scuba gear, perhaps? <laughs> no. Too bad. There's an entrance under the surface of Emerald Pond, but it would be a long swim under the water. You would most likely drown. Yeah, well, most likely isn't definitely, so... I guess I'll give it a try. Trosviot, you look like someone who's afraid of nothing. And Zana knows the people like you. Zana was like you, in her youth. Zana was protecting people. Well, but Zana was doing it for money. And you are a real hero, from what Zana has heard. Huh? Huh. <laughs> Prostit for my insolence. But to Zana, you look as someone who would not refuse to help a child. Uh, what do you have in mind? This boy under Tariq's care. Poor thing looks helpless. Well, they both seem helpless. The boy survived something terrible, and Tariq thinks his brother is still in danger. If you could give him a helping hand... Yeah, I get it, but I don't know if I'm right for this. Oh, you are. Zana knows. Believe me. Dos vidanya. Where'd you find him? He just showed up. He barely talks, and when he does, he says some strange things. A lot of it is about someone named Mike. The only thing he had with him was this voice recorder. But this fella, Mike, it might be his brother. The kid says he left him behind. He asked me to go get him, but I don't think I can do it. It's too dangerous to take him with me, and I don't want to leave him here alone. You know where he lived? Dolma Street, Unit 11-2. Okay, maybe I'll check it out. Keep this recorder. Maybe it'll help you understand what happened there.
Let's see what this says. Detective Julie and his assistant begin their search for the missing person of Dolma Street. Oh, come on, you have to help me. Dad's been out all day. Come on, we're going to find him. The missing person of interest went out very normally to get some food, only to become missing under mysterious circumstances. Detectives Mike and Tom Dooley are sent to look for clues in the other apartments. All right, boys, you were playing detective. What happened next? Okay, what now? Detective Julie reporting. I'm entering the basement to check the trace. Mike, are you here? Mike, is that you?
Jesus. Closed. 